Hi, this is Cuella Bella Gale. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is a little bit of uh, how I personally talk to my spirit tree. Okay, now, what is a spirit tree? You might say. Okay, well, you know, Gaia is a whole earth, and there's a lot of trees on it. But uh, in my belief system, there's one tree that will call out to you specifically. When that one tree call out to you, you talk to it back. This is how I, just me personally, do that process. I take my hands like this, put the palms together, put it against the tree, close my eyes, and I think to myself, Mother Earth, Gaia, I come to you. And then I say the things that I need to say. Sometimes I say them out loud. Sometimes I just uh, think them in my mind. I take off my shoes and uh, so I can feel the earth beneath my feet and get well grounded. And uh, I'll show you very easily how I do this, okay? So first I take off my moccasins. Cook my hands. Wiggle my toes a little in the ground to make a good feel. And I close my eyes and I forget about the world, everything in it. The only thing in my mind is me and Gaia, me and Mother Earth. And when I am done, I always thank her for listening. Sometimes I get the feeling she tell me this, she tell me that. I thank her for uh, the information, for the help. Okay, That's how I do it. That's how I talk to Mother Earth. My personal process, people have their own and that's okay. Uh, everybody have their own way, okay? But that's mine. Uh, hold on a moment and I will show you how I do sun gazing. It's a little different than some of the other techniques I've seen. Some people see it in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, you have to be careful about your eyes. Well, I do mine a little different. I can do it anytime during the day and mine show a little different result, okay? I'll show you how that works. What I do is I sun gaze through the tree. Now, as you can see, it uh, there you go, you get a nice flare. And you see the sunbeams make, uh, make uh, the rays of the sun. And uh, you don't get that if you look at it in the open sky. If it's a little too bright, you just shift over a little bit, get to more leaves. Okay? And uh, you can look at this quite a while. And you just shift on your feet. Again, I take off my moccasins or shoes and uh, get a good grounding on the earth and just do a little sun gazing. Oh, that's a good flare there. That's just my way, okay? Everybody have their own way. Everybody have their own methods. Please, no hate if you don't like my method. It's okay. You find your own, okay? Always find your own path. What resonates with you as truth is your truth. What's not, eh, no hate towards people. Let them have their own way. Okay? So this is Quay. This is my spirit tree. Uh, recently when they had the big storm, there was uh, one of the branches got hit by lightning. Okay, the big, big storm we had all across the country. And at first I thought, oh, this is horrible. I, it, 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 uh, it hurts my tree, but then I realized too, a week before that I had uh, thought and knew I was going to build a kiva, but I didn't know where I was going to get the wood for it, and uh, it had to be special wood for me. I, I just didn't feel like cutting on a tree, it just didn't seem right. Uh, Gaia provide. The storm sever the branch into two equal parts with lightning. I like that, you know. And uh, then it become clear what I'm supposed to use this for. Uh, the two large pieces I will take and uh, 
and uh, make my kiva out of that, the supporting branches for the inside. I also plan to take uh, a good piece of this and make a spirit stick, a walking stick. So, though I would not uh, want to cut on trees in nature, nature provide. So I'm a happy man with that. And uh, it's made of, of course, spirit wood now because this is uh, my spirit tree. Uh, you can't, uh, can't go buy that in a hardware store. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see how that turn out and I make a video of that later. Here you go, my spirit tree. <laughs>